Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the video on how to subtract large numbers with a 100 bead abacus. If you've just watched all of the other subtraction videos and are looking for a challenge, this is the place to be. Let's get started right away. Subtracting large numbers can be tricky, but can also be done. So let's begin with an easier one, though. Let's start with 6,394 minus 3,212. Again, like we've done with all of our other videos so far, we're going to start by forming the first number. Let's start. So the first number is 6,394. So 4, 9, 9, 3, and 6. All right, and now since we have our first number formed here, we're going to take away beads to form our answer. So we need two away from the ones because the two is in the ones place for 3,212. Then a one, two more, and then three. So if you look at this number, it's, I can cover all the beads, 3,212. And this was our larger number altogether. So that just shows you kind of what's going on when we move beads over. So if we subtract and move all these beads, can get a sheet of paper ready to write down our answer and so we can start at the top going down and write a three followed by a one eight and then a two so that gives us an answer of 3182 our abacus should look like this after we have solved the equation all right let's move on to a little trickier one let's try 65,656 minus 48,489 all right like we've done before we're going to start by forming the first number 65,656 so we have 60 and there we go 65,656 now we're going to subtract 48,489. So let's start with the bottom row. We need to subtract 9, move 9 beads over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to write down 6 to remember it because we'll need that number for later. And since we have ran out of 1's beads, we need to subtract 110 and move 10 ones back or subtract one green bead and move the 10 yellow beads back to their side. This number is the same as this number, but now we have one's beads to work with because we left off at six and we need to get to nine. So starting at six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome, we're done with that place. Now we need to move on to the tens where we need to subtract eight. One, two, three, Four, I'm going to cross off this six, write the four below it so I can remember that for later. Since we've ran out of tens place speeds, we need to move, subtract one one hundreds place and move the ten tens back because this number here is the same as this number, but we have tens beads to work with, which we need four more because we're going to eight and we left off at four. So let's go five, six, seven and eight. In the hundreds place we only have to subtract four. One, two, three, four. We have now removed the hundreds, tens, and ones and we still have thousands and ten thousands. So we need to subtract eight from the thousands. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cross off this four we have here to remember five for later, wrote down the five. Here's what my notes sheet looks so far, looks like so far. And then we're gonna subtract one 10,000 bead, remove it from the side where our number was, and add the 10,000 beads back. And then we can continue from five and we have to get to eight, so six, seven, eight. We have now removed all the beads we need to remove except for the 10,000s. We need to remove four from here, one, two, three, four. And this is our answer now. Now we can write it starting from the top to the bottom. We're going to have one, then a seven, then one, six, 
7 to give us an answer of 17,176. Your abacus should look like this after you've completed the problem, and my notes are in the upper corner right here. Let's try one more before I sign off. We're going to try 940,932 minus 555,584. So we're going to start by clearing our abacus. And we're going to start and we're going to form the first number like we've done before. 940,932. Starting from the bottom, we have 2, 3, 9, and then 0 in the thousands place, 4 in the ten thousands, and 9. Now we need to subtract 555,584. Starting with the bottom, with the ones row, we can subtract 1, 2, I'm going to write down the 2 to remember it for later. We can remove one green bead, one 10 bead, and move the 10 ones back because again, this number here is the same as this number, just we have ones to work with. So let's continue from two, we need to get to four. So three, four. Now our ones place is complete, we need to do the tens place. The tens place we need to subtract eight, we can go one, two. Since I already have a two written down here, I'm not gonna write it again, but we need to remember two for this for later. So we can subtract one tan, one 100 bead, and add the 10 tens back. And now that we have tens to work with, green beads, we can sub continue from two to get to eight. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have the tens row complete, we need to do the hundreds row. The hundreds row, we need to subtract five or remove five beads. One, two, three, four, five. Hundreds row is complete. Now we need to move to the thousands. Since we have no thousand beads, we have to subtract one ten thousand, remove it, and then add the ten thousand, ten thousand beads back. And then we need to subtract five from that. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we've completed the thousands row, we need to move to the ten thousands, which we have to do five again. One, two, three. I'm going to cross off the two so I don't get it mixed up, and then write down three to remember for later. We can subtract one one hundred thousand bead and add the ten ten thousands back, because again, this number here that we have is equivalent to this number, but with this number we have 10,000 beads to work with. And continuing from three, we need to get to five, so four, five. Lastly, we need to subtract the 10,000 beads, or 100,000 beads, the yellow beads, we need to subtract five of them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we can write down the number we have. I'm gonna write it down, three, eight, five, three, four, eight to give us an answer of 385,348. Your abacus should look like this once you're completed. I have no more challenge problems for you to try, but if you would like some, I'm sure your teacher would give you some. But for now, I'm James Porter signing off. And remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.